has strained the city of Denver's resources. But the city staff still doing everything they can to make sure anyone who needs shelter from the cold has somewhere to go. Denver 7's Patrick Perez continues our team coverage at 6 and Patrick's live outside the Denver Coliseum. Doors opened there just a few hours ago. That will serve as a 24 hour warming center, Patrick. Yeah, and Shannon, there's actually another one that's opening tomorrow morning at 7 at the downtown Denver YMCA. When this one opened just after 3 today, uh, we saw about two dozen people lined up here about 45 minutes later. We saw a whole busload of people here arriving to the Coliseum just to give you an idea about how great the need is for this. Now, earlier in the day, we were allowed inside before people arrived, of course, to kind of get an idea as to how everything looks. Check it out. About 250 of these cots line the concourse at the Denver Coliseum. It's here where people will be sleeping these next few days in the warmth and away from below zero temperatures. They'll also get access to hygiene kits and three meals a day. I want to be clear, the weather we are anticipating this afternoon and through the next two days will be extremely dangerous. The Coliseum is primarily targeted at the unhoused and anyone else seeking refuge from the cold. Migrants arriving in Denver will be placed in shelters specifically for them. At least 1,400 of them have come here since the beginning of the month. Nearly 800 are currently in shelters across the city. At a news conference Wednesday afternoon, Mayor Michael Hancock says the city is at a breaking point. I implore Congress and the administration to act and to act quickly. We need bold interim steps today, but we also need a long-term strategy and plan and policy around immigration. So if you show up here and they are at capacity, city staff will work with you to find you another spot at another shelter. And to recap, we now have two warming centers that are for 24 hours or are going to be open for several days. This one here at the Denver Coliseum that opened just a few hours ago. And again, the one that's opening tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock at the uh, downtown Denver YMCA. Uh, we have a list, like we mentioned earlier, on Denver7.com if you'd like to find one closer to you. There are also going to be the rec centers open available uh, as warming centers only throughout the day, though. Live in Denver, I'm Patrick Perez, Denver 7.